guys, so today's look is this really simple summer glam that is so easy to recreate. And the best part about this makeup tutorial is all the products that I'm going to be sharing because they are so long lasting. So I recently attended a barbecue and it was about 100 degrees outside, it was so hot and I was outside for about 6 or 7 hours and surprisingly my makeup did not move at all which is why I got the idea of creating this look for you all that's long lasting, that's not going to melt away and that's going to last all day long. I pretty much used the same exact products that I wore to the barbecue in today's video with the exception of like one or two things. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this makeup tutorial. But we're going to get started and I'm going to work on my face first. And I'm going to start off by using the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion. I really like this because this blurs out all of your pores um, and it also helps to make your makeup last all day long. So I've been using this non-stop. I'm just applying this all over my face, just using my fingers because that's the easiest Next, I'm going to use MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW25. I just like to put this underneath my eyes with my finger and then blend it into my skin using a beauty blender. And the reason why I like to use this um, concealer, even though it's so light for me, because it really color corrects and brightens this entire area underneath my eyes. So I'm just blending this through with my beauty blender. And I know it looks really light for my skin, but I am going to add foundation right on top so it'll blend right in. Next, I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in the shade NC42. This is like an oldie but a goodie. I use this all the time, especially when I know I want my makeup to last all day long without moving, without me worrying about touching up or anything. I always go for this foundation. I'm just kind of applying this all over my face with my fingers, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend this out again using my Beauty Blender. Do you guys see the lines that are there, um, like the big hollows underneath my eyes? I want to try to cover that up as much as I can. My favorite thing to use at the moment is the new Hourglass Vanish Foundation in the shade Beige. They sent this to me and it was too light, but of course I didn't want to waste it. So I tried it as a concealer and I absolutely loved it so much. So I just apply this in like an upside down V triangle. But you'll see how well this works to brighten underneath the eyes. Okay, so I just kind of switched around my setup, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Now I'm going to go ahead and just set everything in place. I'm using my Makeup Forever HD powder. I use this all the time, and if you guys watch my hacks video, if you didn't, I will link it in the down bar. And I swear by this technique, just take a little bit of the translucent powder on your beauty blender and really press it underneath the eyes. And this is going to prevent your concealer from creasing and moving in general. It definitely works. I love this technique. So now to set the rest of my makeup, I have been loving this new powder. This is from Bare Minerals and it's called Bare Pro. I'm in the shade Toffee and this works so well to set my makeup and again prevent it from moving. You just need the tiniest bit and just a little dust of this product will just kind of seal all of the liquid and you know cream products that we put on our face earlier. This is just going to lock everything into place. I'm just going to leave my face as is for a little bit. I will go back and do my contour, blush, and all that good stuff in just a few minutes. And for my brows today, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I just like to start off the front of my brows and just in short strokes, just kind of pull the product back and follow the natural shape of my brow. Now, this product is so pigmented that you only need the tiniest amount. So don't press too hard because then it's going to be too much product. So just I'm pressing very gently and just creating short strokes that almost look like hair. Now, I don't know if you guys will see it on camera, but my brows are really short. So I just like to extend them a little bit to make them a little bit longer just with the pencil. Okay, next I'm going to just set my brows in place so that they do not move throughout the day. And for that, I'm using the Ulta Brow Gel. And I just do this really quick, just kind of place the product right on top of the brow to just lock them in place. 
So to contour my face, I'm using the Makeup Geek Contour, and this is in the shade Complicated. And this stuff is so pigmented that I'm like barely touching my brush. That's all you need. And I just like to apply this on the sides of my face and take it up just a little bit because I have a really small forehead so I don't like to contour too much on my forehead. I'm just keeping it mostly on the sides of my face and just blending it back and forth. I really love this contour color for my skin. It's just that you have to be so careful how much you use because it's so pigmented that a little bit goes a long way and it's really easy to get carried away because you think it's not going to be so intense but this stuff is intense. Okay, now I'm going to use one of my favorite blushes, and this blush is so long-lasting. And it's their Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Blushing Bride. This is one of those products where you apply a little bit in the morning and you forget about it because you do not need to touch up at all. So one of my favorite highlights at the moment is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I think I talked about this in one of my favorites video. I really, really like this highlight so much. So I'm just putting this on the high points of my face. So I'm going to start off with my favorite eyeshadow base. This is MAC's Painterly Paint Pot. I just really like the Painterly Paint Pot because it has a little bit of color so it evens out my eyelids because my eyelids are a little bit darker than the rest of my face. So it just helps to even out everything and prepare your eyelids for the eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance Palette with a ColourPop eyeshadow. So I'm going to start off with Burnt Orange, which is one of my favorite colors from this eyeshadow palette. I'm just putting this in the crease area and then just moving the brush back and forth. This is going to help define my eyes. So I'm just doing that really quick. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Don't mind that this eye is kind of peeling. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, now I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Sequence Eyeshadow, which is really pretty and I think it's so nice for the summertime. And I honestly just like to use ColourPop with my fingers. It just works the best for me that way. And I'm applying this all over my lids. Anyway, for my eyeliner today, I'm using the Sephora Fine Line Eyeliner. The reason why I really like the Fine Line Eyeliner from Sephora is because, first of all, it's super, super black. And it just glides on and stays in place all day long because it is waterproof. And usually I'm not even a fan of pen eyeliners, but this one is so pigmented, so I love it. If you guys are looking for a really good eyeliner that lasts all day long, I really love this one from Sephora. I'm taking the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. And I think this is fairly new from Makeup Forever and I really like it. Now I love this mascara so much because it really gets in between every single lash because the brush is so small and it makes them look super long and thick and volumized and everything you want from a good mascara. So I love this one from Makeup Forever. So can you guys see how well that works to my lashes? I love this mascara. But I do want to add some falsies. So I received this box, which is so cute, from Octali. And the brand name is Everblinks. I think I'm going to use this one. And this is called Lash Whisperer. These are so pretty and they look kind of dramatic. So I'm going to go with these for today. Now I'm going to take Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eyeliner in M60. And I'm just going to add this in my waterline just a little bit. And I'm wondering if I want to kind of smoke out this look or just kind of leave it as is. I feel like I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Um, but I am going to take my mascara and add it to my lower lashes as well. I'm also going to take the Primavera eyeshadow from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. Put that in the inner corners of my eye. Okay, so the only thing left is my lipstick, and I'm going to start off by using the Huda Beauty Trendsetter Lip Liner and lining my lips. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lips using Huda Beauty's Trophy Wife Liquid Lipstick. Now 
I'm just going to set everything in place using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This stuff is really good, but the packaging is terrible. Like, it gets so dirty, but if you don't care about the packaging, that's not going to bother you at all. This is one of my favorite setting sprays at the moment. It just seals in all of the makeup and sets it into place, so I love that. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know in the comments below at least one product that you guys are loving in the summertime that is long lasting so other people that are also reading the comments can get ideas from all of us and we can kind of share ideas with one another. So leave that in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all of my social media. I will link my all of my social media somewhere in this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye guys!